Hey everybody, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we need to talk about a major spoiler that I just saw for this upcoming new season of Seeking Sister Wives. It's gonna be season four. It premieres June 6th. I'm so excited. We I need to talk about this. This is the teaser for the new season and just a heads up, the quality is not the best because it was recorded off of somebody's television and then posted to YouTube. I don't, I, I tried to look and I could not find anywhere that TLC posted it like on Twitter or anything. So this is the best, the best we got. We're actively seeking a sister wife. Wife number three, four, five. I just don't understand how the dynamic works. I genuinely think his lifestyle is disgusting. Seeking sister wife returns, June 6 to 10 on TLC. So we need to talk about returning couple, the Merrifields, Garrick and Danielle and Roberta. We don't see Roberta in the teaser, just Garrick and Danielle. Because check out this description for episode two of this season. So here we have, and I just Googled season four and because I was trying to find the teaser because I had seen some people had posted it on Instagram, so I wanted to watch it. And then I came across this. I was just going to do housework today, and I was like, oh, no, no. We got to talk about this on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so season four, episode one, which premieres June 6th, is titled Who Doesn't Like Thirds? Then season four, episode two, which is titled Little Did They Little Do They Know, the first sentence is the Merrifields court Leah despite Roberta's disapproval. What? Okay, so a new potential sister wife is entering the mix. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting, you guys. I cannot help but think that Danielle is having the time of her life with this. She has to be a little bit tickled at the circumstances just based off of what she had to deal with in season three. Remember, she had to accompany Garrick on numerous, not just one, but two bang trips to go see Roberta. And then, you know, they also show us they get divorced on the season. And while they're on these bang trips, the way that Garrick differentiates between Roberta and Danielle is he calls Roberta tiny wife and he calls Danielle big wife. I have been wondering what the Merrifield's been up to, and if you were to lay out my bingo card, honestly, I did not have courting another sister wife before they've secured the bag with Roberta. I did not have that in my in my foreseeable future, so I am shook. And I also wanted to bring this up. I saw this posted, I think, like a week or so ago in the Seeking Sister Wife subreddit, and this was something we had talked about. I heard it talked about on various podcasts I listen to and other people that watch this show have been talking about it. But we saw Garrick and Danielle get divorced on the season. And it just baffled people, myself included, because, you know, if you're coming, especially from the 90 Day Fiance fandom, you know, we're we're all about our, our minds are attuned to all these visa processes that they go through, um, people get, getting denied, people getting approved. Like, why did that person get denied? Why did that person get approved? And here it was like, how on earth are they going to get Roberta over here? Like, is this immigration fraud? So I saw this again, like I said, I saw this posted, oh, it's 10 days ago in the Seeking Sister Wife subreddit. And someone asked, are the Merrifields not committing Im immigration fraud? Original poster asked, am I mistaken or is getting legally divorced in order to get a K-1 visa for someone else not fraud? I am just watching season three for the first time edit, I spelled their name wrong, whoops. So someone replied, immigration attorney here, the issue with them isn't that they're committing fraud, they're not, it's that their plan is for Bert to immigrate to the United States with the intention of practicing polygamy within the country. This is not allowed under federal immigration law because polygamy is illegal in the U.S. and they can't really deny it after going on this show. So I'd say there's a 0% chance of Bert 
getting a K-1 or really any other type of visa at this point. They won't even let you in as a tourist if they suspect your intention is to practice polygamy while you're here. The Merrifields are playing by the rules. They are adhering to their NDAs, so there really is not much. I have noticed, so I think it's been about a year since season three aired, and in the gap between season three and season four, you would get the occasional post from Garrick or the occasional post from Danielle. That's pretty much it, just kind of like family photos and whatnot. Now, they are much more active on Instagram, so I know that they're getting ready to amp up and be pretty active on social media this season, so it's going to be very interesting. Remember, one of the plot lines of last season for Garrick and Roberta was them timing their next trip to co coincide with her ovulation schedule so she could hopefully get pregnant. My God, what if she's pregnant? Ah, I don't know. I am reading far too much into things, but I just was like, oh my gosh, TLC, why did you put, put the descriptions out before you've even put a trailer out for this season? Like, we have, like, half the couples in a teaser, and that's it. This is a major spoiler. It's like a big oops on their part. Anyways, you guys, I just had to come on here and talk about that real quick. What do you guys think of a now-confirmed third sister wife entering the mix? Who is this Leah? I am a... I, I I don't know. I'm just going to go out on a limb and assume that she's relatively local, meaning she probably lives in the United States. I cannot imagine the headache of dealing with two international sister wives. That just seems even far too complicated for Garrick to be able to juggle. But a lot of his methods have not made sense to us in the past, so I wouldn't put anything past him. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.